Clark County tries to slow that surge. They say it is time to stop playing games. Literally, the new health order temporarily bans contact sports in the county, meaning that several local sports teams, including the 49ers, need to find someplace else to play and practice. NBC Barry's Ross Plater explains what happens next. Just after that 23 to 20 victory over the Rams this weekend, the San Francisco 49ers and several other local teams found themselves scrambling for a new place to play and practice. Among other things, the new restrictions ban contact sports in Santa Clara County for the next three weeks. Not to mention the 14 day quarantine if you travel 150 miles outside the county. It's extremely disappointing. So we feel like we've done it as good as we can. The team announced today it will now play its upcoming home games against Buffalo and Washington at State Farm Stadium in Arizona. One more challenge for players who say they're doing all they can to stay healthy and on the field. It's been a struggle, you know, not having my little, my little family. Um, sorry if I get a little emotional, but you know, um, it, it's really tough, and um, I miss them so much. It's not just the NFL team that will have to switch gears. The Stanford Cardinal has an upcoming home game, as do the San Jose State Spartans, who are scheduled to play Hawaii this coming weekend. We have an incredible challenge on our hands as we're trying to figure out where we're going to practice and where we're going to play. Obviously, it's disappointing. However, uh, we respect the decision by the county. Uh, and we're going to move forward. The county executive says there are few choices as the virus is surging. In a situation where our beds are filling up in the hospitals and we're in a crisis mode, where the surge of virus uh, is increasing exponentially, where more and more people are dying. San Jose State says it's still looking at its options for venues, including in Humboldt County, where the team has practiced before. In San Jose, I'm Ross Plater, NBC Bay Area News.